Hi all. Um, I'm gonna solve the Einstein riddle. Um, the Einstein riddle is a riddle created by Albert Einstein in the late um, 19th century, I believe. And he wrote this um, saying that he estimated that only about 2% of the population on Earth can solve this. I don't think it's as hard as he thought it was, but um, we're gonna try to solve it. Uh, a few people have YouTube videos um, of themselves solving it, but I, I and, and they do a good job, but I, I think we could do a clearer and, and, and more visual job here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. So I'm going to read the question real quick. So Einstein says, uh, there's a street, um, and in that street, um, in that street, uh, there are five houses painted five different colors. And in each house lives a different uh, person of a different nationality. And these five homeowners each drink a different type of beverage, um, smoke a different uh, brand of cigar and, a key, uh, and they keep a different pet. Um, so the question becomes who owns the fish? Essentially what Einstein is trying to ask here is really fill the table. So here's my approach to this question. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label the houses on top one, two, three, four, and five. And um, on the side over here I'm going to label um, these um, nationality, um, nationality, the type of smoke, um, the type of pet, um, type of beverage or drink, and uh, the color of the house. Oh, color. Okay, so, um, so look at the hints. He gives you 15 hints, 1 to 15. Um, you could read them right now. What I'm going to do is I've already read them. I've done this question before. So I could tell you, if you scan through all of them, the first hint that is actually going to be useful is um, uh, hint number 8. And hint number 8 tells us uh, the man living in the center house drinks milk. So we could go ahead and highlight that because that's, you know, that kind of gives us a head start here. I'm going to use the red. Um, so the man living in the center house drinks milk. So we know right here the drink center is three, it's milk. Good. Okay, so we're done one thing. Let me actually go ahead and finish highlighting this. Okay. So hint eight is uh, gives us a clue and, and we're done with hint eight. We're not going to use that anymore. The second thing that we look at is actually hint um, nine and hint nine. The Norwegian lives in the first house. Again, that's useful. Let's go ahead and uh, put that in. So the Norwegian lives in the first house. So first house, nationality, Norwegian. Norwegian. Good. All right. Um, and then you can go on and the other hints really don't make any sense until you get to hint 14. And hint 14 says, the Norwegian lives to, uh, next to the blue house. Okay, that's useful. That's pretty self-explanatory here. It gets harder um, after a while. The Norwegian lives next to the blue house. Well, guess what? The Norwegian lives here, so the blue house must be um, in house number two. So house number two must be blue. Good. All right. Those three hints are actually pretty self-explanatory. You don't have to explain much. Then it kind of gets difficult, right? then the other hints don't really make sense until you look at hint number four and five together. Okay, well what do hints four and five tell us? Hint four and five tell us that the greenhouse, the greenhouse is next to and on the left of the white house. Okay, and the owner of the greenhouse drinks coffee. Well, how does that help us? This helps us because it tells us that the greenhouse, through the art of deduction, we know that the greenhouse must be in number four. Now, how do I come up to this conclusion? Pretty easy. First of all, the greenhouse is on the left of the white house. Um, so that's clue four. And the owner of the greenhouse drinks coffee. So let's look at this in detail. From these two clues, we can extrapolate through the art of deduction the following. Number one, the greenhouse must be number four. Why? Well, it cannot be number one because from clue four, we know that the greenhouse is on the left of the white house. Therefore, the white house is on the right of the greenhouse. Well, guess what? We, kn we know, whoops, 
we know that the second house is blue, it's not white. So it cannot be house number one. Okay, all right. Now, um, therefore, we got to look at the other options. Could it be house number two? It cannot be house number two because, uh, because uh, we already established that ha the second house is blue. And we know we're talking about the greenhouse. So it can't be house number two either. Can it be house number three? No, it cannot be house number three because the owner of uh, that house drinks milk. And we know that the greenhouse, the owner of the greenhouse drinks coffee. So it can't be house number three either. Can it be house number five? No, because the greenhouse is left of the white house. Well, guess what? There is no sixth house. So it cannot be the fifth house because it's not left of anything. Therefore, clue four and five must be in house uh, four. So what does this tell us? Uh, the owner of the greenhouse drinks coffee. So we know house number four is green. That's the first thing that we know. We know that uh, they drink coffee. Okay, that's a clue five. And clue four is telling us, well, this house, the greenhouse, um, is actually left of the White House. So we know house number five is white. Good. All right. So now we've gotten rid of um, four, clue four, clue five, clue eight, clue nine, and clue 14. Our next step here is clue one. Okay. Well, what does clue one read? Clue one tells us that the Brit lives in the Red House. Okay. Well, guess what? We know that there's only two other houses that we don't know the color of. House number one and house number three. Because we know the colors of two, four, and five. So the Brit lives in the red house. It could either be house one or three. But it can actually be house number one because we know house number one, it's the Norwegian. So it must be house number three. So we now know that clue one, which is the Brit, must live in house three and that house must be red. So let's go ahead and get rid of clue number one. Good. So we're done with clue number one as well. Excellent. We're moving along here. Okay. What's our next step? Our next step is to look at clue number seven. Well, what does clue number seven tell us? The owner of the yellow house smokes Dunham. Well, guess what? Uh, there's only one color left. We know four of the five colors. So this must be yellow. And clue number seven says, the owner of the yellow house smokes Dunhill. So if this is yellow, the, the smoke must be Dunhill here. Oh. Dunhill. Excellent. All right. So we're done with clue number seven as well. Good. We're moving along. Now, what's our next step? Our next step is clue 11. Well, what does clue 11 read? The man who keeps horses lives, lives next to the man who smokes Dunhill. Okay, let's go ahead and highlight 11. Well, guess what? Do we know who smokes Dunhill? Yeah, we just found out. It is uh, the Norwegian. And what does clue 11 tell us? It tells us that um, he lives to the man, he lives next to the man who keeps horses. So house number two must keep horses. Okay, excellent. Let me go ahead and highlight this. Good. Now this has been pretty easy. Here we kind of get stuck. It gets a bit more complex. Not to worry though. Uh, after we're done this, it gets really, really easy. So try to keep a try to keep uh, up with this point right here. Now we're kind of stuck. All the other points don't make any more sense until until you look at a few steps all together. Now we look at clue twelve. The man who smokes blue master drinks beer. Right. So I'm looking at this point right here. I'm looking at this point right here. 12. The man who smokes Blue Master uh, uh, drinks beer. Okay. Well, guess what? We know two houses. It can be house three or four uh, because it's milk and coffee. It can be house one because it's Dunhill. So it has to be either house number two or five. Okay. Now, if we sidetrack and look at and try to find the nationality of the man who smokes Blue Master and beer. Guess what? Can it be the Norwegian? No. It can be the Norwegian because he smokes Dunhill. It can be the Brit because he drinks milk. Okay, so who do we have left? 
Well, we have the German. It can be the German because the German from Clue 13 tells us that the German smokes prints. So it can be the German. So who do we have left? We have the Swedish guy and the Danish guy. Well, guess what? It can be the Dane because the Dane drinks tea, not beer. Therefore, it must be the Swede. Therefore, Clue 12 and Clue 2 are actually the, it's the same person. So the Swede keeps dogs and also smokes Blue Master and drinks beer. Okay, what house would that be in? Well, it can be house 1 because the Norwegian lives here. It can be house 3 because the Brit lives here. Guess what? It can be uh, house 4 because it's coffee and not beer. It can be house uh, 2 because the Swede keeps uh, dogs as pets, not horses. Therefore, it has to be house 5. So we actually have the answer to house 5. So we know it's a Swede lives here. We know they keep dogs as pets. And we know that they uh, drink beer. And we know that they smoke Blue Master. Blue Master. All right, so we could go ahead and highlight 12. Go highlight 2. Those two clues are done. From here, really, it's pretty self-explanatory. We go through um, the rest of the clues. Clue number three, the Dane drinks tea. Well, guess what? It has to be either two or four, but it can be four because four is coffee, so it has to be two. So we put Dane here and tea here. And we go ahead and highlight clue number three. Okay, now next up, we look at clue number 13. Clue number 13, the German smokes prints. Well, guess what? The German has to be here, right? We've got no other place for the German to be. And we could fill this in, Prince. Okay, and we could go ahead and get rid of clue 13. Good. Um, next up, we could look at clue 6. The person who smokes Paul Mall rears birds. Well, guess what? Uh, Paul Mall, it's either 2 or 3, but can be 2 because 2 is horses, so it has to be 3. So we put Paul, Mall, and Birds. And we could get rid of that clue. And clue number 10 tells us the man who smokes blends lives next to the one who keeps cats. Well, this is the only space left for smoke, so this has to be blends. And next to cats, well, it's either 3 or 1. 3 is birds, so it has to be 1. So cats. Okay, we're done with this. And the very last clue tells us the man who smokes blends has a neighbor who drinks water. Blends is here, neighbor water, either three or one. Three is milk, so this has to be one water. Good, so we're done with that as well. We've pretty much solved the answer. So Einstein asks the question, who owns the fish? Well, guess what? By process of elimination, there's only one person who can possibly own the fish. And it is the German. Okay. Thank you. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. And uh, hopefully you've seen how I've done it. Take care.